This is the XT60 connector that comes off of, that originally came off of the Ender 3. It, uh, this is one of the ones that has the, uh, it has the crimped connector on it. Um, uh, it there's no solder in this. Um, and so I'm going to be adding, I'm going to keep the connector. Uh, I've also switched it around. This is now the connector that comes from the power supply as, as it should. And then this is now the connector that is going to the, uh, the board itself, which this is a connector that I soldered up, um, using a proper XC60. The click, it's one thing that, uh, Maker's Muse mentioned, um, click on here. Is good that's connected well this is also let's see take a look in there um, forgive me for not being able to focus in closer but uh, I need a macro lens and I currently only have an 80 millimeter um, but uh, it is a proper uh, it is a proper pin where it uh, what are the words I'm looking for where it uh, it it actually has an ending in there um, the one that uh, that Maker's Muse had is over in Australia. Um, it uh, was just a hole that went all the way through. This one is not a hole that goes all the way through. Um, but I'm going to see. I can feel it when I move it like this. I can um, I can feel it wiggling around in there. So um, I'm, I'm really frugal and like to uh, not waste material. So I mean, like this is a good connector. It just, just needs some beefing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and do that now. You know what? I'm gonna do this proper like. Yeah, that would be stupid. Uh, <laughs> there's still active capacitors in there, so you'd want to snip these separately. There, that's better. So I've got a whole bunch of these male XT60 connectors sitting around. I, I honestly, I think they were, they were an Amazon purchase. A while back so I don't think that they're anything special I am happy here's one thing that I'm happy about this is silicone uh, wire that's something that uh, if you watch um, oh I'm forgetting his name he's the one who does all the the RC test reviews and stuff uh, if you watch his videos um, he really likes it whenever it's silicone wire um, Daughter Flux that um, I bought at some hobby store somewhere, and then I'm just using a, a huge needle to apply it. Put a little bit of solder on the, uh, the tip to uh, get it started, and then once it's the heat's been transferred, there we go. Now it's flowing. So just enough. Returning for part two. Um, I have this. It's a solder wick. Uh, however, it's expensive and tiny and annoying to use. So instead what I do, then take the end, fill it with flux, And then heat the very end of this until it starts to melt, which you might have to add. So this is uh, re saving money on uh, XT60 connectors by reusing them. There we go. Finally caught it. So now solder is transferring to that.
and filling up this. There we go. Much cleaner. Squeeze the wires together, release. You know your solder's good when it's all pretty and shiny and you keep it still and then it'll dull a little bit, but it stays shiny. Oh, there we go, that's all protected. And now, that's hot. Now I can connect it up to the board again. And, uh, and I'm good to go. And so this connector, I probably could have saved it, but that just, with all the bad stuff that's happening with these guys,